Hey, hello! Hello, how are you, my crafty friends? It's me, Leslie, and I'm here for Come Craft With Me. And I'm hoping that you are going to come and craft with me tonight because I'm going to be playing with some Heffy Doodle Koalas. That's using the new Heffy Doodle Quality Hugs stamp set. These little cuties. Um, and I'm going to be working on a magazine article tonight, actually. Let me see. I have some comments coming through. We've got Susan's here. Hey, Crafty Suze. She says, I never catch it lives anymore. Yay! And uh, Ashley's here as well. Yay! So happy to have you here. I'm sorry I missed last week. Um, we were in A&E. &A. Mm -hmm. We have had a little bit of a... Um, uh, crazy time these last sort of two three weeks um craig's had some complications after getting his gallbladder out drama drama so he has an mri tomorrow so hopefully fingers crossed we will get that all sorted before too long anyway let's forget about him for a second because i need some craft therapy <laughs> Do you ever just feel like that? I've not really even been able to work. I've just been so like stressed out and just trying to do things and keep on top of his meds and keep on top of food for him and he can't eat certain things and uh, make sure the child has got clothes for school and make sure there's packed lunches and, and I've not really been able to work or think straight and I think a little bit of crafty therapy would do me good. So let's turn this around. I'm going today to be using the Quality Hugs Stamps, like I said. And this is for a magazine brief. So you guys may have seen me uh, making some cards for a magazine brief before. And you might not have seen this before, so I thought I would share it with you guys. Uh, when a magazine asks us to create some projects for them, they normally give us um, a brief, a little bit of instructions about what it is that they want uh, from us. And very often they will have either a theme or a color palette here. So the color palette that they have chosen has a darker blue and then a lighter blue, although this is more of a tealy aqua color, I have to say. And then we have a pink and orange and a yellow tone in the middle here as well. They've also asked us to specifically use the Quality Hugs stamp set. Um, I know that Morgan made a card using uh, this brief. This was the card that Morgan made. So she has hit all the high notes there. She's used the Quality Hugs stamps and dies um she's done some embossing on there which actually like i've just not done um, embossing in so long and maybe it'll inspire me to do it and she's got some orangey yellows in the middle we've got some pink tones coming in the blues are here too and of course she has finished it off with some da -da -da -da, heavy doodle enamel dots I am so excited for these, you guys. So you may or may not know that this was part of our latest release. However, the package that was coming from the factory got lost and it uh, took forever to get to us. It went on a little detour all through Europe. And uh, in the end, we had to ship our orders to retailers without the enamel dots. And then when they arrived, we shipped the rest of them off to the retailers again. So these are finally here, they're in store. These are the two enamel dots that we have for this release. First of all, we have Man Cave, which has these gorgeous neutral tones. We have some purple here, um, a sort of a, a, a darker gray, a lighter gray, um, and a navy kind of tone. And then this one's called Summer Holiday, and we have this aqua pink, yellow, a bright sort of pool blue, and a white. And these, of course, match the cardstock, not the cardstock, the pattern paper that we have released this uh, time round as well. So, very exciting. Now, the other thing that is on here is that um, we have been requested to create a square card, which Morgan has taken care of and a circle card, and then uh, three other cards. So for tonight's craftiness, 
I am going to be using um, my circle dies to create a circle card. And this is always fun because circle cards is something that I do not automatically navigate to. So it's nice to push myself out of the way into, the, into a different um, zone. Um, someone is saying hi, Lazy, on Facebook. Hi. Sadly, it doesn't tell me who you are. So hello back to you. You can let us know your name and hopefully we'll catch up with you. Sue says, I like colors and lots of smaller ones. Great addition to the line. Yay. We are so excited. All right, so I've pulled out some stitched circles here. And I have die cut, actually, I've die cut three of these. I haven't gone for the largest size because what I was thinking of doing, so this is the third largest size, is actually layering this up to create a shaker card, which is why I've done three of these, by the way. So I'm thinking I'm going to create a shaker card on the front, which means I need my front panel, and then this will be the frame. Now, what I could do is use some more of those stitched circles to create the sort of inside piece of here. Um, and then I thought, oh, maybe it'd be cool to use the leafy laurel to create like a shaker on the inside. And I was really feeling that, but then I remembered that um, there's no greens in this color palette. So I thought, actually, I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna bank that idea. And I'm going to wait until I can use some greens because I think that's what I would like to use for that. Um, somebody on Facebook says, hi, Leslie, how are you? You're just coming up as Facebook user on my restream um, chat at the moment. I'm doing not too bad, thanks for asking. Um, we've had a little bit of a chaotic few weeks as Craig has been poorly. Um, and we're going back tomorrow for an MRI to hospital. But I am absolutely very happy to have, let me see where I am, there we go, um, to get some crafting on the go. Uh, so yes, as I was saying, I then thought, oh, I know a circle dies that I could use and pulled out my fancy Nancy frames. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to layer up my fancy Nancy frames on one of these to create a, a layer on the front of this card. What do you guys think? Do you think that would be cute? I think so. Let's add this on here and run it through my Gemini. I'm not sure if you guys can see here, but I actually moved my Copics over. Can you see this tower full of Copics? I've moved them um, so that they are lying horizontally. I'm not really sure if I'm going to love it. And I love the aesthetic. I love how it looks. But what I'm not so keen on is one that it's really far away from my craft desk. But hey ho, we shall see. To scrape off all of these. little hearts. Okay, so now I have a really cool frame here. Now I'm gonna need some acetate. Although, I do believe I'm running low on acetate. Let's see what I have in my stash. In my little stashy, stashy, stash. We've just got some acetate in the store, some new acetate, the extra thick ones. And um, as it arrived, Morgan went, oh great, you've put some of these in the craft room. What? I didn't get that far. Oh, let me use some of my older stuff. This is just um, like a transparency film, actually. 
it's not as higher quality as the acetate that I normally use. This is a transparency film rescued from a rescued from a storeroom. I'm sure this box is probably about 20 years old. But nevertheless. All right, so I'm going to cut this out using the skinny circle frame dies here. Marcy says, I love how their Copics look there too. They're so pretty. I actually want to put them, I've, I've sort of arranged them into color order. And I was hoping to put them into numerical order so that, you know, E33, E35, E30, whatever. Um, but to be honest, I just didn't have the patience when I was doing this the first time round. So, oh yeah. All right, so this is cut out most of the way through this transparency film has been notoriously tricky before. All it takes is gentle encouragement with the scissors. It doesn't really matter because I'll be hidden anyway. There we go. So I did have an idea as well that the front of the card, I was thinking of using the same frame die to create a frame around the outside. And I pulled out this orange spotty cardstock. So this is from the summer holiday collection of cardstock, wherever you are lurking, here it is. This is our six by six paper pads, summer holiday collection. We've got some gorgeous dots and stripes in here. This is a perfect, perfect um, pack for if you like to make cards, you can layer things up really nice. It doesn't detract from the design of your card. We've also got the, um, the man cave version as well, but let's pop this out. And Roberta's here. Hey, Roberta. All right, so let's see what that looks like so far. So good. So cute. Okay, so this is going to be the outside of my card. And I was wondering if one of these would, if I would cover the heart. I'm not sure if it's going to be perfectly positioned, sadly. I could just add some color using some markers, maybe. Or we do an inlaid technique. And pop these guys back in again all the way around bring some of those other colors in there that could be cute too let's stick this down Roberta said I missed something about hospital I hope Craig is doing better yes Craig is off to hospital tomorrow for an MRI he has been in and out of hospital for the last 10 days, really. Last, last week, he, um, he went in on, well, we were in on Tuesday and we got sent home. And then on Wednesday, we got sent home. 
and then um, the meds didn't agree with him, so he was in the out of hours doctor clinic thing at like one o'clock in the morning. And then it was just like all week long. And on Friday last week, we went in to get some blood tests done and then the blood tests came back and they were like, oh, you can't go home. So he had to stay in over the weekend. But he did get out on Monday, but they basically told him that until we get an MRI, we don't really know what's happening. And they requested an emergency MRI. So they requested that last Friday. So I thought, oh, well, we'll get it before the weekend's out. But apparently not. So that was me being naive. Um, but we are very lucky that... Um, We've been very, very lucky. I've also pestered, <laughs> pestered the people in the hospital. Um, and we're getting an MRI tomorrow. Ranger, please don't park. Banished is right. Ooh, Amanda is saying, what are you making? Amanda, I am making a circular card it's for a magazine and i'm going to turn it into a shaker card and i'll let you in a little secret you guys the reason i'm wanting to make it into a shaker card is dun 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 this week morgan has been playing with sequins that's right heffy doodle sequins Shh, it's a secret it I don't know how to make a word sequin into secret. Um, we are going to be releasing it sequins. Um, technically, sparkle mixes because it's not just sequins, it's sequins mixed with gems. So I think I'm going to have to add some of the Happy Doodle Sparkle Mix to this card tonight. This tape is really not playing ball, so let's see if I can discipline it a little bit more here. Here we go. So someone on Facebook is saying, when is your favorite time of day to do some crafting? That's a great question. Why don't um, everybody ask? Why don't you guys answer this question too? When, what's your favorite time of day to do crafting? So, for me, the answer was always nighttime. I actually think that that was more to do with the most convenient time to do crafting rather than my favorite time, if that makes sense. Because having a little one, it was always when she went to bed, then I could have time to myself. But quite frankly, I think that my favorite time to do crafting is probably during the day when it's bright outside. I think I, I prefer to do that. I really, really love it whenever, uh, let's say it's a new release, but before you guys know about it. So the new release gets here and I'm like, right, I'm just going to craft all day. And I love that. I get such a huge kick out of it. I love crafting during the day when it's light outside. Um, but sadly, I don't always get to do that. Oh, it's Yana! Hello! Yay! By the way, you guys, did you see um, Yarla's uh, guest post? Ah, oh, kudos, my friend. Uh, Amanda says, anytime is good for me. Roberta says, I use my bone folder and run it through the middle of that tape and it helps release the film to come off. Oh, that's a good idea. So if you have the tape like this, you run it down the middle and it would kind of lift up a little bit on either side. You clever chicken. Sue says, I bet they are the prettiest sequin mixes around. Oh, they might be. <laughs> Who knows? We'll find out. We had 180 kilograms 180 kilograms of sequins 
think arrive a few weeks ago. It all happened in the middle of the release. It was like, um, we don't have space for this right now. <laughs> it was really comical. Okay, so let's get some koala bears. Koala bears. So here's my thought. I was going to maybe have wishing you a quality birthday right here. And then maybe a little tree coming out like a so. That was my original plan. And I have this koala here, given that it's a birthday, have like some balloons coming up and he's holding the balloons. That was original plan. That's plan number one. And I can introduce, I can put sequins behind, sequin mix that we've made so far is blue. And um, I thought we could have yellow and pink for our balloons, which means blue sequins, pink and yellow in our balloons, and then orange around the outside edge. And because the, the sequins are such a gorgeous mix of all kinds of blues, that would work. So I, <laughs> I would love to see that amount of sequins in a room. <laughs> I, remind me at the end and I'll see if I've got a photo on my phone <laughs> because it is nuts, absolutely nuts. I'm pretty sure we took a few photos. So this was plan number one. Memorize that now so that you can um, give me your opinion. Um, then the other thought was maybe have this guy sort of hanging on the edge over here. And then this was still going to be down here, I think. But then have this koala over here. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get my sentiment in easily. And I thought we could put a little party hat on one of these guys and a wee prezzy wee gift down here. So what do you think? Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Sue says, I used to be late at night, but now it's afternoon. Yes, I think I'm changing as well. And um, who's this up here? Oh, it doesn't let me scroll anymore. Someone else said they were a late night owl um, and that's changing as well. So yeah, I don't know, maybe, I don't think I have as much sticking power to get like right the way through to like midnight anymore. That's what I'm finding anyway. Let's see what we can do. Now, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I get a new stamp set, I tend to stamp a couple of sheets of paper and put them in the back. Is this something that just I do or do you guys do this too? Maybe it's because there's a lot of my, um, when I'm creating cards for a release, I'm normally on a roll and I, ha and I like to have the elements all stamped out, ready to rumble. Roberta says, Leslie needs to join us too if it isn't too late for her. Oh, yes. Who, who, how do I do that? Please let me know. I would love to know. Now, the most inconvenient thing about having my sequins over, my, my sequins, my Copics over behind me is that I now need to be able to bring them over. So I have this cute little pail. And I'm going to bring over some warm greys. And a colourless blender. And a little R20 if I can find it. Um, R81, I'll do the trick. Let's see. Nessa's here. Hello. Hi, Nessa. 
So these have been stamped out onto some Happy Doodle alcohol marker friendly cardstock. Using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. My favorite. And I'm using some warm grays to color in this little cutie patootie. Very cute. I'm going to try and keep his face a little bit lighter, so I'm not going to do any of the really dark one. His face. W3, W2 for his face will be sufficient. Amanda's saying, don't forget the thumbs up, please. Yes, thank you so much. That would be amazing. Please give us a thumbs up. We would love that. That's the old Facebook and Instagram algorithm, which I normally pay no heed to. But it does help spread the word. So please appreciate that. Um, so Nessa says, what's up with Craig and Morgan? Morgan's great. She's fabulous and I love her. But uh, Craig is pearly, sadly. I mean, he's great and I love him as well, but um, he's still pearly. <laughs> All right, so that's a C5, but I want to go a little bit darker. I'll go for a cool. So cute. And I think I'll go for a cool gray tummy as well. Actually, no, let's go for a bit of a more yellowy tone, so E41. So cute. Is Yara still here? I'm in love with a jungle card. Oh, I know, it was awesome. Loved it. Try again. Is there a timer on my watch that buzzes to remind me, but I think maybe it's disconnected from my phone. All right, so we've got, let's just go for original plan A. If in doubt, follow your gut, huh? So let's see, shall we go for um, a couple more brownie tones? This is a very light uh, E41 here. And we'll have some... 51. Actually, this is a new one for me. I bought this brand new E13 Light Suntan. Not used that one before. There's, it's a sketch. I've now got all of the chows, which is really exciting. But this was a new color that isn't available in the chows. So I saw it and I was like, oh, well, actually, I could try that. We tend to use quite a lot of browns for critters and nature elements, so I thought I would test drive this one. And then I suppose we'll have to add some leaves in a green, so I'll just give it a little touch. This green's not part of my color palette, so I'll just give it a little, little 
little bit of green. My camera's a little bit too high today, guys. Sorry about that. Let's mm. cut these out and see where we're at. Best wishes and a quick recovery to Craig from our household, says Nessa. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, Roberta said, reminded me that Morgan had a migraine yesterday. She did, yes. I walked in the Heavy HQ and the lights were out and she was lying under her desk, face down, like in under the desk where all the cables are. And I thought for an instant that... Um, cable had come out of her computer or something but then it didn't track the fact that the lights were off i was like are you okay she was like oh, a migraine so she just had to wait for the aura to pass and then i sent her home i was like right if you feel like you can drive drive home dear get some rest Big kudos though to Morgan for stepping in last week when I was still in A&E &E. and I was texting Morgan. We, we left here at 4 or 5 a.m. in the morning to go to accident and emergency and th throughout the day it was maybe 10 o'clock and I was like Morgan I know it's early days yet but I don't know what state I'm going to be in to do my live stream for um, scrapbook day. Um, I mean, we need a plan B. And she totally saved the day, so very extremely grateful to her for that. Nessa says, Annie, why? Yeah, Craig, Craig's been very poorly. Um, he's just under pain management at the moment, but he is awaiting a, an MRI, which he is getting tomorrow, thankfully. So that's really good news. All right, let's see if we can cut out some balloonies. So they think that maybe there is a stone that got left behind inside. A gallstone. Um, or it could be something else, but we don't know what it is. Who knows? Yes, it's been it's been a little stressful in and out and in and out of the hospital and um, at the start it was um, a bit frustrating because everybody just seemed to want to give pain meds and not actually find out what the problem was oops that didn't cut um so it was incredibly infuriating it's like you can't keep sending us home with painkillers because the problem's still there. And all, and you know, your body's trying to tell you something's wrong. So it hurts. And then you give it a painkiller, and then your body's going, it's not, they're not listening. So we're going to hurt over here as well now. So there was a little bit of that where every day there was a new symptom or he was being violently sick. Oh dear. Roberta says his pipe is doing well. Pipe is doing very well. Yeah, thank you. She got her vaccine tomorrow, actually. A little nervous about that, bless her. But she had COVID and she was absolutely fine. She had a little bit of a temperature and very, very sleepy. Um, the temperature did not last. In fact, she just slept it off. And she... Um, Oh yeah, she did, she did say it was a little bit of a headache. She, a little bit of a headache, she had a bit of a sore head. We sent her to bed and then like an hour later she was fine. Nope. I'm hoping it will be very mild. 
All right, so we've got two balloons here. We've got an, a pink and we have a yellow. I've also cut these in white because I'm going to strengthen them up like a soul by layering the colored one on top of a white one. And the other reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to cut out two strings using this long strip here. Let's see. Let's see if I can get two out of this piece of holy mackerel cardstock here. There was a little bit of a mystery today, um, yesterday, pardon me, because um, the post arrived and Morgan brought it in because it got delivered to Heffy HQ. And she said, oh, Piper, there might be something here with your name on it. So Piper got the package and she opened it up and inside was a book. And the book had a, like a library um, number on the outside, like a sticker to say that it was like part of a library. And when you opened it up, it had the, you know, the thing that's on the inside where you check out the library, it's like stamped with the date. And it said like the University of Hounslow, which is in London, which is nowhere near us. So we got incredibly confused. <laughs> like, why is this here? And I don't understand. Um, and but there was no any there was not any um guidance, there was not any letter or anything. The only clue was that where it had Piper's name and address, it said the word eBay. So I can only assume that somebody somewhere has bought this book for Piper on eBay and sent it direct to us. But I have no idea who has sent this book. It is a children's book. Um, but it's like a mystery. It's something mystery of the shrunken heads or something in the museum. So funny. Uh, so somebody on Facebook is saying, are you live on YouTube? Yes, it's not on the Heffy Doodle channel though, it's on Hungry Heffy. Or if you type in Leslie Oman, L-E-S-L-E-Y-O-M-A-N, you should find me that way, or Hungry Heffy. A lot of the comments come through on YouTube, so it's easier to follow the comments there. So this is going to go like so. I'm wondering I might tuck this under, actually. So did any of you guys send my daughter a, a book on, from eBay? Because we are stumped, absolutely stumped. I don't know where it came from. So in here, I'm going to take a pair of scissors and I'm going to put a little snip down by his ear and then a little snip around his top paw. Um, and I think it was Amanda that did this on a blog hop once so that you can slide this in so it looks more like he's holding it which I think is really cute. So we'll do that. And then we'll do the same with this one. We'll trim off the ends so we get it just right. I'm thinking I might add a little bit of ink to these guys so I'm not sticking on just yet. Yeah, this is thanks to the sweet compliment and Amanda. We'll play with a new release all weekend. Yay! Cannot wait. 
Okay, so here is now my dilemma because I was going to emboss this one to here. But if I do that, I don't think this acetate is going to be heat resistant, is it? Aha, curveballs, curveballs. So I think we'll have to put it on the inside, which means that my sequins will cover it at some point. But that's fine. You gotta work with what you've got sometimes. All right. So. I think I'm gonna go for a pink grating because we're gonna have lots of blue on the inside. And when I need a pink greeting, I always go for party dress because it is my most favorite. Must actually buy a reinker for it because if there's any Catherine Poodle ink that I use the most, it's definitely party dress. And in fact, I, you can tell, because I have to double stamp it, you can tell that it's already been well loved because normally with Catherine Poolers, if anything, they're over juicy. Oh, can the sentiment fit on a balloon? What an idea. Let's check it out, shall we? You are a winner. You are an absolute winner. Let's do it. All right. So I have lined this up. I'm not moving my piece of card. I'm going to line up this remnant right here. Pop it in place. It's nice and centered. This is another way to use your heavy memo tape and your misty. Like so. We'll take this and pop it right in here. Snuggy, snuggy, snug. And then dump it again. In fact, I wonder, mm, no, nah, I'll do it in pink. Why not? Roberta says, Amanda Jen has so many cool tips and tricks. Absolutely. I'm holding my breath here because this is literally, it's not stuck down. I might have to. I might have to um, die cut this again. Really happy with that stamping at the moment. There's a big piece of fluff uh, on the stamp. I wouldn't bother quite so much if it wasn't for the fact it's going in a magazine. Let's move my birthday balloon out of the way and um, grab another piece of pink card. See if we can find any of my scrapped 
apartment. Do you think that will fit on there? Quite possibly. Take a two. Oh, that moved. Oh no, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, well, a slight change of plan. Where we're going to put a piece of memo tape underneath here to secure it down. Make sure this is clean. Now I pop this in. does fit but with the um stitching it's a little tight to be honest but we're gonna make it work um change your mind and i'm going to have black ink on this i think hold the beautiful Wishing you a quality birthday. Beautiful. So with all the um, hospital visits last week, I managed to miss a series of birthdays because Craig's brother's like the 1st of May or the 2nd of May or something left. And then his mum was the 6th of May and then his dad and his brother was the 10th of May. But this whole time we were away and also somebody, one of Craig's friends moved into a new house. So he was like, can you make a new house card? And I was like, yeah. And um, yeah, I completely failed on all the duties. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm afraid it was store bought card cards. There you go. This is starting to look so cute. So we'll do this. Wishing you a quality birthday. We'll have some bluesies in the background. Let's put some something blue behind here just to give an idea of some sequins happening. Um, and um, I wanted to have some colors coming round on these hearts. Now, I did wonder if I cut out one of these, would it be wide enough to go around all the hearts? And personally, I think the answer is no, but you don't know unless you try. So let me check it out. 
and I'm going to go for a darker pink this time. So I'll go for Razzleberry. Handmade card, happy heart. Is that Yarla? Says loving the black ink. Yeah, I think it really pops, doesn't it? So using this skinny circle frame die, put these back into here. Let's layer this up and see if it's going to work. It doesn't cover the whole lot, sadly. was a little bit wider it would have worked but that's okay because we can use another one of the circle dies we could use this will cut the inside section here and then if we cut the next size up that will cut a panel, so this sort of gap in the middle will cover that. So I need to grab my pinks back out again. I think we can make this work. Roberta says, if you had some rainbow ink blended card, you could cut a ring to fit where the hearts are. Yeah, yeah. And um, Scrap Bean is here as well. Hello. All right, let's see if we can make this, this work. This is the panel I need. Lots of lovely circle inserts now. I'll pop that into my skinny circle die set. Sorry I'm late, had to watch a live unboxing video for an event I'm doing next week. No worries. There we go. So let's layer this on the back of this. Now it is going on to some acetate, so I'm going to just... Oh no, no I'm not. I'm lying. I was going to say I'm going to put some... Tape, but I don't want it to show through, so I will put on a little bit of wet glue on the inner edge. And on the outer edge. I should have just cut it the same size as the um, base of the card, and then I wouldn't have had to worry so much. But you know, sometimes being smart doesn't come naturally, so. There we go. Yarla says, I recently listened to the podcast with Leslie. Such a fun episode. You should go and listen if you haven't already. Thanks. That was the, um, the Life Handmade podcast by scrapbook.com. It was so fun to do. I had such a blast. It was awesome. I've actually been listening to a lot more podcasts recently as well. I'm finding them really, really fun to listen to. Does anyone out there have any recommendations? 
for podcasts. They don't have to be crafty. The moment I'm listening to some like true crime podcasts. Uh, yeah, this is cereal. I, I listened to cereal when it came out. So I was like waiting for the next episode type of thing. Um, and I've been wanting to find something that is cereal-esque. But to be honest, I find it really lacking. Like I can't, I can't get something that is quite the same. Can't get my cereal fixed, you know? So if you have any recommendations for something that is like cereal, hit me up. I definitely want to know. Marcy says podcasts are fun to listen to while crafting. Very true, very true. Let's see if I can pop this into his little paws. It's probably not even overly noticeable, but you and I know. You and I know. Oh, it's so cute. Now, it is all about a birthday, but there is no gift and there is no party hat. So we need to rectify that, you guys. Let's grab my stamps. In fact, I think I'm just going to grab an acrylic block because these stamps are itty bitty. Beady, beady, beady. By the way, are you an NBA? Yeah, that sounds like spam. Never mind. Um, Yara says that was like. It's not doing its thing. Gah. Um, yes, it was really like watching a movie. I found it incredibly frustrating, but also addictive. I'm sure you found it all the same things. <laughs> but it, um, I definitely felt like there was a sense of um, it being unfinished, like I really want a closure, but then I think that was the somewhat the, the point, I feel. And I think it was so well done. Definitely left you. Desperate for the next installment of it. So have you found anything else that kind of is the same sort of vibe? Let me know in the comments. Sue says, I like Carlos Whitaker's podcast. Carlos Whitaker. Inspirational and kindness. Ah, oh, that sounds like that would hit the spot quite nicely. We're going to have blues behind. We need pinks and oranges. Let's work on those colors. We'll go for orange and yellow and pink tones and a little bit of blues as well.
the cute little party hat. And we'll go for pink. Maybe yellow. And a bit of orange. Now let's cut these out. I started listening to one that was called Cautionary Tales. Oh, I don't know that. And um, there was one or two that was really good that I really enjoyed. And then some of the others were just okay. Well, sadly, it, it, it was one, it just didn't have that same sense of consistently awesome. Although if you, um, you might like to try Invisibilia. I really liked Invisibilia. There's a lot of really interesting concepts and things in that podcast. Just really interesting and really unusual, I think. Roberta is saying that koala on the tree bunch stamp is so cute. This one here. He just looks so zoinked, which is kind of how I feel recently. <laughs> like I'm so tired. So I've got my two little bitties here. Let's grab this. Because we are going to create a card. Base. Hmm, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm probably going to have to maybe get rid of this. I don't know, maybe we could repeat the uh, sentiment on the inside. I don't see why you could ha couldn't have that. On the inside of your card. I'm just really being lazy, to be honest. As if you guys don't know. <laughs> Little crease on here. And a little trim down here. Helps this guy stand up. Oh, 
All right, so I'm going to add foam tape all the way around. Uh, in fact, I'll put it all the way around this side. And I'm going to use the 12 mil foam tape. And I'm going to pull off the backing because that will allow you to curve it a bit better. In fact, let's give it some nippies. And also, in fact, I don't have any sequins here, so we shall have to actually do it bit by bit. This is where I would normally go, Craig, run out to the craft room and get me some sequins. But given the fact that he's laid up in bed in pain, we'll probably just have to wait till tomorrow. Love that tip for shakers. It's definitely the best. It was the whole reason it got made, the shaker roos. I've got one bit that's uncovered. And if I don't cover it, accidents will happen. Okay, so this is going to go like this. Loving it. And I think we'll have a sea of beautiful blue behind. And I think what we'll do is we'll finish off with some enamel dots. Why not? I really want to put an enamel dot over here because it is, I don't like the fact that you can see through that. So let's give an enamel dot here. Oh, here, wait, I haven't stuck these boys on. You guys supposed to remind me about these things. Take these on. So that pretty much covered the whole string there, so that was a little pointless. But hey ho, these things do happen. A little gift behind him. <gasps> yes, what I'm doing tomorrow night if the invalid is able to look after himself for a short while. I'm going to a Eurovision party. I'm very excited. No, I haven't really been following it for anyone who's about to ask that. But I sure do think it's going to be lots of fun. Let's see. We've got some beautiful yellows in there. Let's add pinks to match. Once these guys stick, they are stuck, Mama. There we go. I 
And for the other things, dimension is key. So yeah, absolutely. I think this is going to look absolutely beautiful. So the I'm going to use my photo, my phone now. The camera will not be quite so. Um, they'll not pick it up. But here is a picture of the sequins that we have. It's going to be beautiful. Just imagine all those sequins behind there being so beautiful and sparkly. Here's a better picture, I think. You see, they're all going to look really cute. My phone is a little bit off color, but so pretty. Can you see? Gorgeous, gorgeous sequins. It's going to bring that blue into this card. If I can find a picture of Morgan and her sequins. Um, can you see that? Not really. It's a whole lot of boxes. Those are all sequins. Here's Morgan as well. There's some sequins. <laughs> Just bags and bags and bags of sequins on the table. Lots and lots of fun uh, sparkly things. <laughs> This is going to be so fun. Amanda says, that's going to be perfect. I think so. I think it's going to be really good. Hopefully, it'll look amazing in the magazine as well. Yay! The hardest part in card making is knowing where and how to place sequins or enamel dots. Yes, or knowing when to stop as well. Absolutely. Roberta says, yikes, that's a lot of little circles. Totally agree. Um, and the other thing is, we were, um, I dipped my finger into one of the sequence things and like sprinkle, I was like, oh, mm, I feel like it needs a bit more white. And I put my hand in and then sprinkle like this. And the, my whole hand was magically covered with the little like dots that are inside the sequence. I was like, well, that was a mistake. And then I like went to do this and none of them come off and I did this and then it was like all in my hair. But it was fine because it was beautiful and sparkly. <laughs> Alrighty, I better go and check on my invalid tonight. Uh, thank you so much for joining me for some Come Craft With Me tonight. Um, and wish me luck and wish Craigie luck for his um hospital appointment tomorrow hopefully we'll find out what the problem is and they can resolve it very very quickly and um, i'll have fun watching eurovision for those of you who are watching eurovision as well i hope that you have lots of fun it's less about the fun and more about making fun <laughs> and and uh, yeah that's always really good really good laugh i missed it this last couple of years because of covid and not had any sort of uh, get together <laughs> Roberta says you need to, a static bag for your hand before that. Yeah, just dip it in like a vat of powder and then dip it in the vat of sequins. <laughs> well, keep an ear out. We'll not be releasing sequins for a little while because it takes a while to make up the mixes and to um, put them together. Um, we may even ask in Heavy Doodlers for your help in naming some of them. We've only made one mix so far um, and we're seeing how it, how it goes. Um, but we will be making up uh, probably at least four or five colors before we're releasing them. We'll hopefully get them out before too long. Hugs to Craig. Have a great weekend. Lots of hugs. Thanks for the live. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me. Have a lovely weekend, and I shall see you next time. Bye, everyone.